On your way to Walmart for pork rinds and kitty litter? What are you gonna carry? Cold Steel Colossus 2. DLC for you and me. Hey everybody, today I've got a real treat for me and sort of a treat for you because this is the first time I've looked at this knife. This you saw on the Piff thank you video earlier, maybe earlier this week, a couple days ago. It depends on when I download this thing. You know, maybe this is next year, but it's probably not. It's probably a couple days ago by now. And this is from Sean, who sent in the crazy box of Piff stuff. And you saw this, and if you didn't see that video, you're freaking to be wild and amazed. Oh my goodness. Oh, you saw the box. Hinderer. Yeah. This is a hinderer. Let me get in here without messing things up. I don't want to mess up cards or... Oh, wow. This thing. This is amazing, number one. It's a hinderer amazing. This is a hinderer half track, and I have wanted to look at these for a long time, and I've wanted to buy one for a long time. I just didn't know how it would feel in my hand. And we'll get to that in a second. But this is just a fantastic knife. And so let's, let's just jump on into here, see what we got. We got one, two, three, about two and three quarters inches of S35VN on that blade. Just nicely done. You got a little subdued horsey there for you, a little horsey head for the hinderer folks. Just barely any riding on that side. I know a lot of y'all people don't like all the riding and stuff. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if this size horse was on the blade, but still a little horse look at that edge i don't know if that i don't think that came from the factory like that i wonder if that's sean's edge because that thing let's check it out real quick just real quick this will be the only thing i cut i promise sean i promise oh my gosh oh if you guys only knew how bad i want this knife look at that holy cow folks you can't believe this knife oh every once in a while a knife just grabs you and this is one of them. One, two, three, about 3.9 inches of titanium. Now this one's got titanium on both sides. Check that out. Oh, in that little inscripted horse there. Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at this clip. I think it's just right tip only, tip up only clip, which is fine with me. Check that out. Let's flip it open. And you got open constructions. Look at that shiny stainless backstop. Those spacers there. So nice. Little stoppers. What do you call those things? I can never remember. Got a little jimping here, which is super helpful on this knife. Because look, you get your pinky back here and you got a little bit of grab there, which helps keep this knife perfect. If I would, I'm going to, if I get one, if I had one, I would put a lanyard on this stop here. Can you see that? little space jobber there. I would put a lanyard on there just to make it a little more comfortable for me to hold on to. But if this did not have a lanyard, I would still, it's still right there. It's not going anywhere. I got just enough space. Let's put it in this hand just so you can see. Just enough space for that pinky to hold on to there. And it does not feel like it's gonna fall out of my hand or my pinky's gonna be in a weird position. This thing, now I got chunky fingers across there, so if you got my size hand or a little bit smaller and you're wondering about that, do not wonder anymore. This thing will fit your hand nicely. And you know what it reminds me of? And Well first let's get into this. There's the hardware. I like all that stainless looking hardware. I think this runs just like the other ones on washers. I don't know if he replaced these washers, but there you go. There's the washers. Can you see that in there? The action on this is amazing. Just a snappy, snappy thing. Very cool clip. It's not, I think you can get them deep pocket carry, but this one's not deep pocket carry, but still, I would just, this would be a, just a pocket chunker for me. And I know it's a little bit heavier than a pocket chunker, as I will show you in a second. But this is just something I would throw in my pocket. This reminds me a lot of the Chavez Stout Megalodon. Just the way it feels and and that that Megalodon is perfect in your hand for a little pocket chunker type thing, a little heavy 
I think I like this one a little bit better just because I think I had a little bit of problem opening that Megalodon and this one obviously not a problem check that out quick looksy round we'll go slow jumping up here which is nice because you can get up here now look you don't want to get up here obviously but you can get up here for a little bit of intricate work as long as you're paying attention see the way this slants up a little bit it gives you enough room if my chunky finger can get up there for a little slicing or whatever you gotta do you can do it too this thing oh me I'm so glad thank you Sean for letting me see this let's get the scale out here just to check out and see how much it weighs it's gonna be a little heavier than a pocket chunker I'm gonna go with 4.5 ounces what do you say all right 120 milliliters that's not gonna help 129 grams from a European friends oh <laughs> it's like he has a gift no way that's crazy 4.55 ounces oh back to my carnival job yes right after I get done with the tilt a whirl I'm gonna come over there and guess wait so there you go 4.5 ounces on this a little bit I mean it's pretty hefty just a hefty little feeling knife and it kind of reminds me of the same category as this knife well, I should have done that a little bit better there we go the little mini pocket rocket by Benchmade now this one's got a good handle on there kind of the same idea just a chunky pocket knife just something to put a lanyard on and bring it out it's not going to scare everybody off there you go there I don't know what else to compare this to let's see what else I got in here hold on one second let's see here oh here we go another perfect example a little DPX check this out kind of that same idea just useful blade good handle let's open these up so we can compare them all right so there you go there's the DPX there's the MPR and I'm not gonna lie you can buy those both of these for what you can pay for this this is expensive which is why I've never tried it out sometimes I don't mind taking a shot and saying hey I'll spend 150 bucks 100 bucks and try that out but man it's hard to hard to put a bunch of money down on something you don't know about here you go look at this this is the Nakamura same idea it's a little bit more of a pocket chunker but it's got that really nice small handle that's still going to fit. Can you see that? Let me move this up just a little bit here. So there's the Nakamura by Benchmade. So you kind of get that same feel. Now, but you don't get that same chunk that you get out of this. This is a chunk, like that's a chunk, and kind of a chunk here. That's not this, but this is just a size comparison there. Oddly enough, oh wait, I do. Here we go. I was going to say I don't have a mini grip or I would show you, but I do. I thought I'd put all my mini grips away. There we go. There's a mini grip compared to it. And, of course, the mini grips can be about half as light or half as heavy. But that's just a length comparison, handle comparison. And, actually, the comparison here is a little bit off because the mini grip, the way they make that little swedge here thing go back, that little finger jobber there, is not as good, it's not as well made for the chunkier handed friends in the audience. All right, so there you go. Oh, that's another thing, I got this out here for a reason. It's not just out there to look at and make you wonder what's in the cloth over there, what's in the bag. All right, let's look at this real quick. Let me show you something that's really interesting. This is my XM18. I want to show you the blade thickness, the same blade thickness that's on, and it looks like a lot of close to the thickness across the back. Can you see that pretty well? On that Hinder XM18 is what you're looking at for the half track. Check that out. That's pretty amazing. I mean, this is just, you know, it's a useful blade. It's a nice blade, but it's, it's just a useful blade. It's not just something that's nicely made and pretty and carbon fibery and 
this thing feels useful. This is something, I don't know about this one because of the horsey. It's really designed nicely. But this is definitely something that you would get a lot of good use out of. If you're in some kind of field where you need to pull out an excellent knife all the time and reliable and man, this thing just feels so good. I'm telling you, if you're on the fence and this is one of your grail type knives and you're thinking, man, I don't know, unless you got hands that are like Shimungo catcher's mitt hands or first baseman hands, my hands are pretty pretty chunky across the cross and this thing fits perfectly. Of course, you can't go wrong. Yeah, that's a great knife. That's a great knife too. You know, all of these are really excellent knives. If you get a chance, I mean seriously, if you got a hundred bucks, this right here, you could probably pick this up for 120 bucks, 130 bucks. Use this is a great, great knife. A little DPX L Max Steel. Oh man, that is a good knife. Man, I'm gonna start looking for some more of those. I know I just sold one. And this, these are hard to find. M390. But look at this. This is gonna cost you like 150 bucks, 160 bucks maybe. And then you got the Nakamores. You can get these pretty cheap, 130, something like that. That's a great knife. That's M390 as well. And then, of course, the mini grip. The mini grip is a little bit. Uh, this is more of a, I have to have the lanyard on here. But I'm getting away from the whole thing of this video, which is the half track. So let me put the half track away. This will be the last time anybody sees this, Sean. It's going into the peanuts into the peanut bed never to be seen by human hand again or until you get it you make sure you get the peanuts on top of it so i don't bend up anything there we go peanuts going on top so this will be going back to you today today being the day i tell you it's going back to you i'm gonna text you here in a second and allay any fears that I'm trying to steal this from you. All right, so let's check out these bad boys. Like I said, these are great knives. These, you know, you're not gonna go wrong with any of these. Now, if you got a bigger hand like me, you might go wrong with this. But this is still super useful, just a super useful knife, especially if you got a lanyard on it. Flick that bad boy open, do a little whittling, whatever you gotta do. Oh man, but I'm telling you what, if you like that one, and you just want something that's that more perfect. <sighs> Step up to the Nakamura, seriously. If if you're going mini grip and you want to spin it before like that G10 mini grip, no, 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 grab this one instead. M390, which is 20 CV on that G10 mini grip. That's kind of hard to beat too. But the Nakamura, this thing just feels better in hand. It's gonna, It's going to fit better. I'm, it, you just have to pick it up. I might give me another one of these. This thing's awesome. All right, uh, once it gone on, again, gone off track. Appreciate it, Sean. Thank you for the look at the stuff. Thank you again for that magnificent pit box. Get over to Facebook, folks. You're missing out on some really cool people. If you're into knives and you're into talking to people, get over there, check it out. And uh, you, you just can't go wrong. There's a bunch of good people. We got a bunch of you know, a bunch of rules in place so that nobody gets out of hand and, and says ugly things. It's kind of a cushiony, snowflakey place, I know. But sometimes you need that. I think most of us live in the real world enough where a little snowflaking isn't horrible. We don't need to feel pressured and garbagey about our favorite hobby. Okay, folks, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, everybody. Just going to do a quick addendum to this video because something came in that's kind of relevant and I didn't want to do a whole different review on the knife since we just got through looking at it but I wanted to show this one to you and this is the green G10 version of the awesome knife we just saw and it is just as satisfying let me tell you holy heck guys so there you go this is the green G10 it's got that texture titanium side here Excellent lockup, and the sweet deal I got on this would make you cry. And just wanted to show you guys. This will also be in the What Came to My Door video previously, but or after this, however they ended up getting uploaded. 
But there you go. This is a really good grippy G10. Same kind of feeling in hand as the titanium one that Sean let me review. And same lockup, same flippiness, it's the same everything. Just a perfect, perfect little knife. I can't wait to start using this and keeping this in my pocket and just having this. This feels like a new addiction type knife for me. Just a great knife. Okay, I just want to add a little addendum there. Just say, hey, I got another one for you to look at. Check it out real quick. Flip it over and check that side out. If you're on the fence about getting this, I mean, if you got the, the cash and you got the money and you're saving up and you're thinking, well, I'm not sure, I'd get it. I mean, that's what I did. I would just get it. It's just, you might want to get it in hand, but if you're worried about the size, like I said, don't worry about it. Okay, that's it. I'll talk to you later.